Do you know how to create a open PO? It's very simple. Let's create just in a two minutes. At first, take a reference purchase order from the system. In your system, you will find many purchase order. Which one is suitable most? You can take it as a reference one. So currently, we are taking this one as a reference and go to the further transaction code as per the highlighted screen. As soon as you are reaching to create a purchase order, new purchase order interface, you will be find the interface like this type. What you can do next, you will be find a more option. Click on that and go to switch on the document overview. Why we are preferring all this? Because we have to take a references of our existing purchase order. For taking the references, we need to navigate this many steps. Now here you will be find it out. Currently you can see it. Select some variant. Okay. Click over here. Now the purchase order you can get it. Click on that. As soon as you will be click on that, then what will happen? The further interface will open. How the interface will look like? Just have a look. So this will be the interface. You will be find very quickly the purchase order will place over there. If this is your purchase order which is being copied, then remain as it is. Otherwise, replace it as like we are replacing. However, our existing and the replaced purchase order both are same. Very quickly, you will be find the execute button. Currently, my crosser is in the execute option. Click on that. As soon as click on that, system will be mitigate to the next interface. Very quickly, the interface will be coming into the presented screen and we are in. So this will be your existing purchase order. You will be find a checkbox in between. So click on the checkbox and very next to that will be find called it as a adopt event. So click on that event. As soon as you will be click on the event, the purchase order, the reference purchase order information is a translate or a transpose to the new purchase order. Very quickly what we can do will be switch off the document overview as like this. Now you will be find all this information over here and you can go for check. You know how to check. Okay. So you can check over there. So currently I am going for check. So now you can see that system will validate and the check information is coming into the picture. If there are informations missing in this system, then you can fill it out. I can see there is no information is missing, but there are some warning messages. I can proceed with that warning message and go for save. As soon as we are going for save, 